It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 5th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather this week trending warmer and drier. Take a look at the big picture this morning. The upper low responsible for the gloomy, damp weekend is near Daytona Beach, Florida. Moving away from us, dry air working in. Check out that big upper low near Los Angeles. That's going to set up some pretty big rains for the uh, southwest United States in the short term. That's a bigger scale look at the water vapor satellite view, and you can see, uh, again, big rain still falling up around uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. But South Carolina will see improving weather today, thank goodness, after just unbelievable rains. Uh, This is one radar estimate. Storm total of 24.32 inches. Anytime you get two feet of rain, that's a big deal. And here's a look at the uh, graphic coming from the Weather Service in uh, Columbia. And again, uh, some spots getting over 20 inches of rain. Uh, The heaviest hit areas from near Columbia down to the uh, coast. Just remarkable. And understand, this is not directly related to Joaquin. This was interaction with the upper low, a stalled surface front, and a very strong Atlantic fetch. And there was some moisture from Joaquin that uh, was involved here. But boy, what a mess. But hey, we're in good shape to start off the day. Look at all the look at all the fifties up north. Uh, Haleyville fifty six, Cullman fifty seven, Birmingham at sixty three. We'll expect upper seventies today, and look out for those low eighties back in here tomorrow. On the watch warning map, obviously flash flood warnings along the coast of the Carolinas from uh, Charleston north to about Cape Fear, North Carolina, and up in the northeast again frost and freeze advisories. Sign of the times. Convective outlook, a marginal risk of severe weather today in advance of that upper low in the southwest, much of Arizona, parts of New Mexico. And tomorrow, a marginal risk well to the west of here. We're dry. In fact, really, it's a pretty dry week coming up. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning. Basically, nothing of any significance. There could be a few isolated showers Friday with a weak front, but no big deal. It's going to be a pretty dry. And keep in mind, October is typically the driest month of the year here. Off in the tropics, uh, Joaquin is moving away from Bermuda. Got that little wave in the central Atlantic. That might develop slowly, but if anything happens, it's gaining latitude, and that uh, should not be a Gulf storm. And it's the latest on Joaquin. Winds at 85 miles an hour, and uh, that'll be moving off in the open Atlantic. It'll be passing north of the Azores later this week. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the... 06Z run ballot today at 1 o'clock. You can see the upper low. It's off the South Atlantic coast. Big upper low that's over Southern California. But again, for us, uh, we get into dry air. Chance of rain, very small today. Not zero, but uh, any showers should be few and far between. And the high today should be in the upper 70s in most spots. Uh, The GFS is at 77. That's a look at the uh, high-res HRRR, 6 o'clock this evening. Just uh, not much out there, basically nothing out there. Tomorrow, we really start to warm up. We hit the low 80s. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 83. And how about mid-80s on Wednesday with a sunny sky? You know, come on now. we got a lot of warm days left here. We all know that. Same thing Thursday. We'll expect low to mid-80s, partly sunny. And then Friday, a weak front moves in. The uh, main upper support, the main surface low way up north. But that might kick off a shower or two. And then as the weekend begins, things look pretty quiet there in the upper levels. And down below that, we are in dry air. So Saturday looks like a pretty nice day. Partly to mostly sunny in the high, I'd say 77 to 80. We're not going to see much cool air behind that front, obviously. And the same thing on Sunday. Nice day. Mostly sunny with a high in the upper 70s. Monday of next week, big upper highs over Texas. They'll be pretty hot for October. we got a northerly flow here. The air is dry, and the day would be sunny and probably low 80s. So it'll be pretty warm here for the next seven days. This is the end of the forecast, October 14th. Pretty strong trough north of the state. Looks like a cold front just coming through there. Temperatures, uh, again, will be in the low and mid-80s this week, but next week we'll see highs dropping in the 70s and lows dropping in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.